This is the last video in the series when it comes to hyperbolas. And what we're going to do is we're going to practice writing the equations when we're given the graphs. And this is where our concepts come into play more than relying on our formulas for all the parts. So let's take a look at our first example. So write the equation this hyperbola is shown. What I would first do is identify whether it's vertical or horizontal, which is very easy to do from the graph. Since it's opening up and down, that means vertical. What that allows me to do is it allows me to know what my standard form should be. y minus k squared over a squared minus the quantity x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. I need h and k. I need a and I need b. Well, h and k is based off of your center. Well, that means h is 0 and k is 0. Center is halfway between our vertices. So then I have the formula so far, y minus 0 squared. I don't know a squared yet. And I have x minus 0 squared. I don't know b squared yet. And I have 1. All right, so a, what do we know about a? We know a is the distance from the center to your vertices. And so how far is it from 0 up to 2? And that would be 2 units. So a is 2. So you're going to have a 2 squared on the bottom. So what am I given here? Well, I'm given the coordinate here of my foci. And so how far is it from your center to each focus, and that's C units. So C is 4. Now, how does that help me? Well, I know that A is 2, and I know that C is 4. Well, we're given the formula. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So that means 4 squared equals, your A is 2, 2 squared plus B squared. So 4 squared is 16, so 16 equals 4 plus b squared, and then subtract the 4, you know b squared is now 12. You don't need to do the square root. Let me stop you before you try, because the formula says x minus h, that quantity squared, over b squared. You just need b squared, and so b squared is 12. So let me just finish it and make it the real form. We never show subtracting 0, so that's y squared. 2 squared, we said, was 4. Minus, we don't show subtracting 0, so that's x squared. We said b squared was 12 equals 1. And there is your standard form for the conic section of a hyperbola shown to the left on the graph. It's all based on understanding concepts. A is the distance from center to each vertex, from the center to each focus. Each foci is C units. Let's look at one more example of this. Again, the first thing I'd want to do is identify, am I working with a horizontal or a vertical hyperbola? And if you're given the graph, come on, it's easy. It's opening left and right, so that means you're dealing with a horizontal hyperbola. That allows me to know what my standard form should look like. The quantity x minus h squared over a squared minus the quantity y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. So I need h, k, a, and b. So the midpoint of the vertices is the center. My center, it again, looks like it's 0, 0. So that means h is 0 and k is 0. So I know it's going to be x minus 0 squared. I don't know a squared. So I have minus the quantity y minus 0 squared. I don't know b squared, but I do know 1. So let's find a. a is the distance from your center to the vertex. So here, a is 3. So I have 3 squared, which is 9. So I notice from the graph that a is 3. So 3 squared is 9. Well, look at what else is given to you. The coordinate of the focus. And so that is your c. So here, c is 4. So let's use our formula. The formula says that c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And we saw from the graph that c is 4, which means c squared is 16. So 16 equals a squared would be 9 
plus b squared. Subtract 9 and you get 7 equals b squared. You don't square root because the formula says b squared to the bottom, so that would be 7. And then simplify it. You don't show minus 0, so it's just x squared over 9. Again, we have minus 0, so let's just put down y squared over 7 equals 1. And there is our standard form. So if you understand, I've been pushing it since the beginning of conic sections, the concepts behind each formula. What does A mean graphically? What does B mean graphically? What does C mean graphically? All that stuff I've been pushing. The reason why is because problems like this become so basic, it turns into counting on the graph. So this is how you write the equations of hyperbolas when given their graphs.